Okay, so today I'm going to go over approximating integrals uh, using midpoint and trapezoid rule. We use this approximation when we are actually have an integral of a function that we do not know how to integrate, although we have a lot of resources in integration. So looking first at the midpoint rule, we might see that our function f of x is actually broken down into integrals and each, in, each, each n actually because we define n as the amount of integrals we break our function each n the size of it is actually delta x the width of the n is equals delta x now we can calculate the amount of delta x because we do know the lower and the upper of the integral and using lower, upper minus lower, b minus a over n, we get our delta x and we get our width of our uh, n over here. So in midpoint rule, as you see, we actually approximate the, the integral. And the number that we'll get in the end is actually approximation to the actual number. So we, our function says delta x that we define b minus a over n multiplied by f of x1 and this means that is the midpoint of x1. <clears throat> to find the midpoint of x1 we actually need to find what is delta x over 2 and this is this our delta x over 2 and the first point that we start from is this point x1 it is actually a our starting point plus delta x over 2 and this will be our x1. From this point to get to the second point we actually just add 1 delta x. From this point to get to the, to the third point we actually add 2 times delta x and so on. So we actually have a pattern here. The first point in midpoint that we start with will be a little bit higher than the point here, than the a. The last point in the midpoint rule will be a little bit less than the b. You will see that once you do the midpoint rule, you will have the same amount of x's as your n's. Meaning if your n is equal 4, you will have 4 times x's that you plug in the function and you find the result. Going on to trapezoidal rule, as you see we divide our function into n's as well. However, each one is a trapezoid instead of just midpoint. In trapezoid rule, same as in n, this is in midpoint, we actually find our delta x in the same way. Delta x is b minus a over n. Uh, usually the b and the a will be given and the n will be given too. If it's not, you just choose an n. Uh, in this case, in midpoint and trapezoidal, it doesn't really matter. In Simpson rule, you should have an n that is uh, 2, 4, not an odd number. In trapezoidal rule, as you see, we have our delta x, and here our x of 0, our starting point that we'll plug in the function, will be actually our a. So if our a is 1, this will be 1. If our a is 0, this will be 0, and then we'll plug it in the x of the function. After that, every uh, x after the first x will be the function multiplied by 2, and each x that we plug in will be actually the first, the starting point, the a, plus delta x. So from this point to this point I do a plus delta x. Now to get from this point to the second point I do a plus 2 times delta x and so on. So here we have the same pattern as well as here. The only difference here is a plus delta x over 2 and then to get from this point to this point we add the delta x. The last point in the trapezoid rule will not have the 2. So as you see only the first and the last will not have the 2 before the function and you will see as I said in midpoint you have this let's say n is equal 4 you have 4 times putting the x into the f of x so here you have n equals 4 you actually will have 5 times putting the x into the f of x if here <coughs> if here I said the x will start from a little bit more than the a and, a little bit, and will end a little bit less than the b in this case you will see that the a the first point will start actually from the a and the last point will end at the b so that's looking at midpoint and trapezoidal rule. And now let's see how we apply that into a question. So in this case we have the same question just using different rules. First question is ln of x squared dx uh, defined in 1 to 4, this is our interval, and we chose n equals 5. 
First, we go and calculate the delta x. It's b minus a over n. That's 4 minus 1 over 5. That gives us 3 over 5. It's actually 0 0.6. Now, because it's a midpoint, I'm, I'm interested to know our delta x over 2. And in this case, it's 0 0.6 over 2 gives us 0 0.3. Plugging in all our values in the function, in the equation that we have over here, delta x 0 0.6 multiply, and we start the parentheses. As we said, the first point that will be will be actually starting from the a plus delta x over 2. So from this point a plus delta x over 2. Second point that we, plug, the, that we take will be actually the first point, that is this point, plus delta x, 0 0.6. Now the third point will be the same first point, 1.3, that we got over here, plus 2 times delta x, and so, we, and so, and so on. And as you see, because our n is 5, we get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 points that we will plug in into our function. And once you plug all of those points in the function, you will actually get this result. That will be 5.11229576. Now in this case, we're using the, mid, the trapezoidal rule. Same function, same n. Delta x will be the same. And in this case, we actually have delta x over 2. So we will take the delta x over 2 that we got over here. We'll do delta x over 2, that's 0 0.3, multiply. The first point that we take will be 1, because that's our a, is 1. The second point that we take will be 2 times the function. And the point will be a that we had here, plus delta x, 0 0.6. Now, the, the third point that we'll take will be 2 times the function. 1 plus 2 times delta x, and so on. And as you see in trapezoidal rule, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, when the n is 5. The first and the last one does not start with the 2, so we don't multiply the 2 by the function. And they start from the beginning point, and they end at 4. That is actually our last point. Here we start a little bit uh, over after 1, and we end a little bit before 4. And this is the result that we get for trapezoidal rule. Now if you look, the actual value that we get if we actually integrate it is 5.09035.49. And in this case, we can see that we had over approximation using midpoint and under, under approximation using the trapezoidal. Hope this will, was helpful. And until next time.